Let's start exploring. Today we're exploring and unboxing the Xiaomi Poco M3. Just before we start the unboxing, let's check out the box. On the box, on the front of the box, we have Poco, the Poco M3, the name of the phone. And right below we have its battery stamp, which is a 6000 mAh battery. Now that's a pretty big battery, especially for the price range this phone comes in. On the bottom of the box, we have its name, we have its color, and then we have its RAM and ROM written, which is 4GB RAM plus 128GB of ROM. Now, there are two variants of this phone. One is the 64GB of ROM, and one is the 28GB of ROM. And this is the higher variant, which is the 128GB of ROM variant. And on the side of the phone, we have its name again. And right below, its name is written with easy access to the Google apps you use most. <laughs> Rip Huawei. Now towards the unboxing. So, right after opening the box, you get another box inside. Which I believe is the cover. The transparent cover and the SIM card too. And yes, I was right. It's the cover and the SIM card too. Oh, and all, all with that, we also get the user guide and warranty card. Who needs user guides, user guides these days? Okay, so let's put that aside. The cover they gave is a transparent cover, which also has a charger flap to close the charging port. Now let's put that aside for now, and let's look the for and let's look at the rest of the things inside the box. So after that, we have the phone itself inside the box, wrapped in transparent plastic. And other than that, inside the box, we have the charging adapter, which is a 15 watt adapter and the charging wire, which is a USB type C. Below that, we have just a warranty guide. So now towards the phone. Right on the phone, it says its name and that it has a 48 megapixel AI triple camera. Now there are three cameras for this phone. One is the 48 megapixel camera, the main camera. Then we have the two megapixel macro camera, camera. And then we have the two megapixel depth camera. Now, if you're wondering what the depth camera is, it's basically a camera which is used by the phone as a sensor below that we have the 6000 mh battery which is a high charge cycle battery and this phone can charge at up to 18 watts for charging then we have the 6.53 full hd plus dot drop display with dual speakers yes this is a stereo phone so we have one speaker at the bottom and one speaker right here at the top which is basically your speaker for, for calls, but it is also your main speaker. And last but not least, we have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 662 inside, with uh, which is the 11nm energy efficient processor. Now let's open this up. Okay, so then we have the phone. And it's back, which is actually faux leather. So it's basically leather textured plastic, which feels really good. Good, and it's actually good because then you'll have more grip on your phone, and there are less chances of falling. We, uh, other than that, on the back we have the camera dent, which is pretty minimal, so that's good. It it shouldn't wobble much on the table. It does wobble, but it's not much, which is pretty good. And the rest we have this layer on the phone and it has Poco written on it. Now to the side of the phone we have the indent power button which is also the fingerprint sensor and then we have the volume rockers. At the bottom of the phone we have we have its other speaker, its charging port and its mic. And then on the other side, uh, side of the phone we only have its SIM tray. On the top of the phone we got its headphone jack, its top mic, which is the main mic, and then we have three sensors, on, in which one is the IR sensor, so you can control your TV and other stuff with this phone. Now, one thing which is different about this phone is that usually f phones would be like, this is the cut and there is the screen here, but this phone is like, this is the cut and the screen is on the top. 
Now it doesn't affect when you hold your phone, you don't feel it different. Not much at least, but it's minimalistic so you don't feel it. And it's it's not bad, it's a really nice cut. I actually like the look of this phone. Now it has three colors, this is the power black color and the other two are the blue and the yellow. I believe the yellow is like the box. So let's turn on the phone now. Right on the turn on we get Poco and powered by Android. Now the colors of the screen on the camera might look different but in real life they're really good. It has a really good enhanced color, enhancing color system and everything which is on the screen looks awesome. We have MIUI and right after this so the phone should turn on. Now let me just set up the phone and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have now set up the phone. I've set up a password and my fingerprint. Now, if you're wondering how fast it recognizes your fingerprint, then it's about one second. So I can do this and it turns on. I can. Uh, it, it's not important to put your finger on it and then hold it. You can just tap it and it will recognize it and turn on. It takes about one second to turn on, probably less than that. Then we have a stop bar. We have its Wi-Fi, which I put in now. Let me just turn it on. And then we have the date. Now, the good thing I like about this phone is that all the UI you are seeing is actually a theme. There's no default theme for this phone. Uh, whatever theme you put on is its default theme. So that whatever theme is on is just default look. So right now, these this is your theme for now. But if I go here and change the theme, then you can see that there are two themes that you get from the factory which are the classic and limitless but you, whatever theme other than that you install is its theme now i installed the android q theme i'm talking about android this phone runs on android 10 and i will and it is updatable to android 11 or whatever they're gonna call it next so this is the phone now if you swipe up you get your apps you can put other apps here and then if you swipe right you get your news and it has really really good camera performance when you use the 48 megapixel camera like it's ultra hd thing then you do get a bit of darkness but the picture quality is really awesome especially for the price tag on this phone and then it has its stunning night mode which I've taken these pictures in a pretty dark room and it was hard to see the room with your eyes even. But when you use that ultra dark mode, but, but then when you use the stunning night mode, it brightens up the picture so and you can see so much in that room. Next is the battery. And remember, when you first buy a phone, always charge it up to 100% before turning it on the f for the first time. And it is better if you even ch extra charge it. But after my first charge, when I used the second charge, the phone did awesome. Now on the first charge, it did last about the same, maybe just a bit less, like one hour, I believe less. But rather than that, the one, the one that counts is the charge after the first charge. So I charged it, this at about to 100% at two o'clock the previous day. And it gave me game time, call time, YouTube time, Instagram time, and it gave me more than 24 hours. So of course there's eight hours of sleep. So you can say it's just about 24 hours in that. But if you do count your sleeping hours, then it's like about, I would say 30 hours almost, which is really awesome. Next is about gaming. So some cool features this phone has is I should show you right here. When you are playing a game, suppose I turn on SRW2, Smashy Road 2, let it just turn on. You get this bar right here, which is actually the game bar. The game bar. You can swipe to open this menu up above, in which you can turn on other apps. And then you also have recording options. You can even turn on, you can even clear your cache to make the game faster right there and then and then it has other tools like if the game doesn't turn off on your first tap so like if you're playing this and you accidentally hit 
the home button or any other button it doesn't turn off instantly you you have to double tap for it then we also have google assistant and next i suppose it's the speaker quality let me just put up a song so you can hear the speaker quality yourself so here's some music now the speakers sound awesome they get you can they get really loud and really low too and the quality is just awesome now for the main part is this phone the poco m3 worth your money well with a 6000 mAh battery a 6.53 inch display fully hd display and a 48 megapixel ai triple camera with a 2 megapixel macro camera and the snapdragon 662 for gaming and all its other features software features and android 10 and the fact that it is updatable to android 11 i say yes this phone is worth your money now now you can buy this phone online on Amazon, the Raz, whatever you want. It is available there and you can just go and buy it. But it is a pretty awesome phone. So I suppose that wraps up the video. Comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions. I'll be happy to reply and read them. Like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my Instagram and keep exploring explorers. Bye.